So what I'm going to be reviewing you guys and doing an inspired eye look is with the Kesha Rose palette. Oh my god, you guys, this palette is so freaking amazing. I don't know if you guys um, are Kesha fans or if you like her music, but I really like her music. Um, I remember, you know, when I was younger, I always used to jam to all of her songs. And this palette's actually another palette from Hip Dot Cosmetics, which are also cruelty and vegan free uh, makeup products. And the inside, oh my goodness, you guys, is absolutely adorable. Just look at this cover. A half moon with clouds, a little tassel on the side right here. It's absolutely so cute, you guys. And here is the colors. Wow, check that out. I know they're really bright, but you can do so many different things with this palette. This palette actually has shimmers, metallics, and glitters. I love this palette so much. It's so cute. So what it reads, you guys, in the back, it says, 12 shades, pressed powder, and glare palette. Beauty is who you are. It's not a perfection. Perfect is boring. You are a beauty. This palette was made for you to play and enhance your natural beauty by capturing colors I have found in nature, in the stars, and in the earth. We are all a part of the same energy. I hope this brings you joy and inspires you to get weird. F it up, F up the world. I would say that on camera, you guys, but you know, I wanna try to keep it all professional here because I don't know if we have any young ones watching and I have a lot of friends who have young ones, so i rather keep it professional. And of course, once again, it's by the Hip Dot brand, you guys. So cute, I absolutely love this. Okay. So, you guys are probably wondering what my theme is today. I will need my phone for this. So, this makeup look is actually going to be um, inspired by the Cancer Zodiac. Okay, you're probably wondering, like, why does she choose that? I don't know. It was just an idea that came to my mind that, hey, you know what? I see all these TikTok videos of the TikTokers doing, um, you know, like, fashion sense of what zodiacs wear, uh, different moods of the zodiac signs, and I was like, oh, well, Cancer is literally, like, around the corner or technically here, so I was like, I should do a makeup look that represents, you know, Cancers, and I'm going to kind of be talking a, a little bit about what Cancer, I guess, people are like. I'm personally a Capricorn, so I had to do, you know, some research on the Cancers, and yeah, so if you're a Cancer out there, give me a shout out um like on instagram like say hey i liked your video or even comment on this video and be sure to subscribe for more uh themes and makeup tutorials okay guys so a little bit about you know what cancers are so if you guys didn't know cancer people are born in between the months of june 21st and july 21st their symbol is the crab their ruling planet is the moon they are housed in the fourth house uh, their water, of course, is element, their mood is cardinal, and their keyword is commonly known as feeling because uh, cancers tend to be, you know, very sensitive, very emotional. They are also likely to be security conscious and highly value their home life. They may appear passive and tend to rely on their feelings to make decisions. They are civil and uh, they are also protective of others. Their uh, lucky color is white but they actually do have other colors that are associated with them. So cancers are supposed to be nurturing, protecting, and very caring people. So based on that, it says that their colors are represented as gray, silver, and cream. And the purpose of that, the zodiac sign and its color meaning include an influence on the feminine parts of the body, such as the uterus, the reproductive system, and breasts. And uh, their lucky numbers are 2, 3, 15, and 20. And lastly, their... Um, their birthstone chart, like stones or gems, is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, you guys, is called Alexandrite and then Pearl. So I'm going to do a look that is based on all of those colors and put it all together and see what we have. And then um, I'll kind of like stop here now and then and give you like fun facts 
about uh, what cancer people are like. Okay guys, so let's get started with this cancer inspiration eye look. Uh, we're gonna start off, of course, with the uh, P. Louise eye base. You know the drill. I know you guys seen this like a bajillion of times, but if you're new here, um, then what I pretty much do on every single video when I start is I start off with a P. Louise eye base and I pat that on my eye of course with a beauty blender so go ahead and pat that on in. Okay so once your eye base is put on we are going to go into this color right here and that is called Backstabber. These names on the palettes are pretty unique. I know most of them are after uh, basically songs that she has. And I don't know all of the songs, but I do know a lot of the songs on here like TikTok, Glow, Spaceship, and a few other ones tonight. So what we're going to do is we're going to dab into that color. And as always, we're going to start off in circular motions and start blending in. Okay, so once that color is blended in, you're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Start in circular motions and start blending it in. Okay guys, so once we have this beautiful color blended in, we are going to now go into this color called Woman. And what you're going to do is pat that right here on the outer corner of the eye and swoop it in. Okay, so this is kind of what you should have. Once that side is done, do the same thing to the other eye. Uh, you're going to spritz your brush and we're going to intensify this color because it is a metallic. So you can just, uh, metallics go really, really well whenever you like wet your brush or use uh, your makeup setting spray and we're just going to brighten up the outer corners. And that's after you have patted in both of the products. So we're just going to go over it a little bit and you want to make sure you're using patting motion. And then you notice the difference between that eye and this eye. This one is now a lot brighter. Okay, you're going to do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, you guys. So now what we're going to do next is you're going to go into that color Backstabber. And you're just going to re-blend those two colors together. Start off in circular motion. Do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so after we have blended all of those colors in, next we are going to take our P. Louise eye base and we are going to cut the inner corners of the crease of our eyes. Alright, so we're going to cut the inner corners only halfway through. Okay, do the same thing to the other eye. Okay guys, so once the inner corners of our eyes are cut, we're now going to take this beautiful silver, one of my favorite colors in here, which is called TikTok, and we should all know that song. Talk on the clock when the party don't stop tonight. I'ma fight till we see the sunlight. All right, you guys, enough with the singing there. I don't have the best singing voice. So we're gonna go into that color TikTok, and we're gonna pat in this glitter, so we may need some eye glue to like really really get that opaque look but let's see what happens it's applying really well you guys without eye glitter glue so that is absolutely amazing look at that you guys that is so amazing I love it! Okay guys, so now I'm going to see how it applies with glue on the other eye and see if that makes like a difference. Okay, and we're going to take that silver and pat it on the inner corner of our eye. Okay guys, so honestly, I don't see really a difference with the glue. This side has no glue and then this side has the glue. They basically look the same to me. So that's good. So that means you can use this glitter without glue. Woohoo! 
Okay, so next we're gonna darken up the outer corners of the eye because if you guys remember that one gemstone I was talking about earlier that's like a magenta purplish color, we're gonna go into this color right here below. If you guys never heard that song by Kesha, it's a really good song. It's like really, it's like a dance song that's like electronic and it's so cool because um, I used to work out to that song all the time, still do sometimes. It would get me all hyped up and whatnot. But yeah, if you've never heard it, just play it on YouTube or somewhere so you can see what it sounds like. Okay, so we're going with that nice dark color purple and placing this right next to the glitter. And we're also going to bring it in over just like that. You're going to do the same thing to the other eye, you guys. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is to make that color more bright, we're gonna spritz our brush, and you're gonna dab right back into that color blow and pat it right on over. You're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. Okay guys, so once that is done, we're now gonna move on and we're gonna take a small brush like this, a small flat brush, whatever you got, and we're gonna go back into this color, um, sorry, we're gonna go back into this color called Blow, but with a smaller brush this time. And all you're gonna do is pack that halfway under the eye. Do the same thing to the other eye. And then we're gonna go into back into that pink color called Woman right here and we're gonna bring that into the inner corners of our eye. Okay, so what we're going to do, you guys, I'm going to take this highlighter right here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their loose highlighter by, um, it's called Snowflake. And of course, you don't have to use this highlighter. You can use like any color you want uh, for the, for this as long as it has like a white pearly sheen. Um, that's why I picked out this highlighter because it reminds me of like a pearly white and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pat that on my brush and then I'm going to put that and highlight the brow bone right here with that highlighter color. Do the same thing to the other eye. And I'm also going to take that same color and highlight the inner corner of my eye. Do the same thing to the other eye. Hey guys, so now that we got the eyeshadow in place right here, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. Um, I'm actually going to do a wing eyeliner uh, on this eye look with the, of course, the Eye Method Beauty eyeliner. And I'm going to put some lashes on and I'll see you back in just a short few seconds. Okay you guys, so this is the final look with Kesha Rose palette and my inspired Cancer Month eye look. Let me give you guys a close up so you guys can see what you think. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this inspired I look for the Cancer Month theme. If you guys are wondering what I use for my lips, I all I did was just put this uh, like pearly clear lip gloss from Too Faced, and this actually came in my um, Too Faced Holiday uh, lip gloss palette. And this is called a uh, peppermint bark. It's just a really uh, you know white. It's just a really nice a sheer white lip gloss, so no color on my lips, just, you know, I thought I'd keep it a little bit simpler on the lips since we are so bright on the eye look. And for my face, of course, I set it with the Anastasia Dewy Set Spray. And for highlighting, I did use, of course, you know, the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Loose Highlighter in Snowflake. And lastly, for my eyes, I use the Jemira eyelashes. You can find these on Amazon. Of course, cruelty-free as well. And that is it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more beauty tutorials and cruelty-free makeup. See you all on the next one, okay? Bye!